there's two subjects that we'll be discussing today. One is the support of uh, Somali women in decision making. Is there enough support for Somali women? Are there enough Somali women in decision making? Our Somali women are very strong. No matter what they, if, if they're uneducated, mm. they still take what they have and they, if their husbands aren't there, they're, they're still strong with what they have. So I think they are involved in decision making in, in the day-to-day -day perspective. But you don't see that many Somali mothers on the board of governors, for example, at their school. You don't really see them um, act actively putting themselves into positions where they can they can actually make a change. A lot of the women don't know how important it is for the parent to understand what a governor is for. The school should feel that this child has a caring parent. Whenever I do my parent group, those women have seen a big shift. They're involved in the school and the head teacher talks so highly about them. In my generation, I think our voice is not heard and uh, we are meant to stay home, cook, clean, do all that stuff. All these young women with five or six kids stuck in the house and overeating. They're all so comfortable and it's all to do with self-confidence. I don't need him, him telling me or helping me to become who I am, no. You don't need a man to empower you, but they need to be made part of the process because then I have a little brother, the things that he comes out with that my uncles encourage, if I don't say something, then at the end of the day, what do I expect him to say when there's, I don't know, female discrimination going on? Like, it's not just your issue or my issue, it's his issue, his issue and his issue. My dad used to tell my mother to sit down, I'm gonna make the food. So I grew up a household where we, as the girls, need to know what to do, but the equally the boys were the same. I remember when I came to UK, I was so energetic. I just wanted to go study. My husband was saying, I didn't marry a hard-working woman. I want you to stay home. And I'm telling you, I progress when I put him aside and I got divorced. If you have someone who do not want you to progress or who is always negative about you, there is no point of you sticking in that relationship. Walk away and do something for yourself. And also you are, you are helping your children. So women like yourselves who are here today, who are, you know, mashallah, educated, who can articulate yourselves very well, you need to step up. You need to put yourself in that position. You need to put yourself in the running. Because if you don't shoot, you don't score. Is, is there a place for skin lightening products in our society? People who bleach themselves are essentially going through an identity crisis at some level. Uh, to be black and to have those features, or those features, is our unique identity. We are all Africans, but the colonialism has impacted on the mindset of people. That's why people think the lighter you are, the better you are. I think he started off of, of our parents, our loved ones, calling us names without being harmful without meaning to, to do that. And then we realized, oh, when my aunties were saying, hold the in middle, that means they meant I was the ugly one in the family because the light skin was always the beauty one. I witnessed some of my family use skin bleaching. I know, I talked to them. <laughs> and health consequences of this are much <coughs> more than anything anybody can talk about. Some of these women are breastfeeding, some are pregnant, some are feeding their children with all these creams on their bodies. This is just a health hazard. And also Somali TV, they advertise these products all the time. Everybody talks about it, it's so evident. In the media today, um, black actors and actresses are whitewashed in magazine covers. You have actresses like Kerry Washington, Lupita Nyong'o. This isn't just a Somali thing, this is a, a black thing. Mm. People who use social media such as Instagram tend to filter themselves a bit more lighter because the image comes out better when it's a bit lighter, which is, is something that's psychologically deep rooted within us. If a boy is already saying, oh, I want the light skin girl, in a way, girls the girls are attracted to guys, so when they get older, they will fix up four guys. I know very well a man will say, I want a light girl, Nag Hadan. And to me, you need to have the personality. My family, they all say, Najib, oh, if you were darker skinned, you'd be so beautiful. If you were, you know, if you had maybe two shades darker, you'd be this, you'd be that. Is we need to educate the men to appreciate any colour of Somali woman. There's a lot of male bashing when it comes to some <laughs> women's issues sometimes that I really like to disagree with. Most men find women beautiful because they are beautiful. 
You saying what you're saying behind closed doors. Sisters do not know that. Sisters saying, I want to look like this because I want to find a husband. I want a good Somali brother. When women want to try and look beautiful, they don't do it for men. They do it for other women. And it's the perspective of other women that impact them more than the perspective of the man. We need to empower our children. We need to ask them what they want to do in life. Not that because light is better than black. We need to ask girls and boys what they want in life. There are young people here. They will be the doctors in the future. They'll be the nurses. They'll be the prime ministers. They will be the, the men, the, 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 the people who run the world. We need to change things within ourselves first before we go out there. So we need to change through our friends, our children, and we can be able to empower the whole community. One lady, actually, she left today, just said to me, I didn't realise it was, it was like this. And so that, for me, just reaffirmed that some, these kind of debates are important. We need to continue to speak about these topics. I think that's one solution. Um, put it out there on the Somali channels. I think it's about more. Uh, programs being developed where young women are, are brought forward so that young women can, can see well okay that's what I want to be like so that's what I'm using my role model. It's good to listen to challenging ideas so debates like this are very important especially in the Somali community right? If you want to express your opinion and you want actually to be heard and you feel like you've never been heard about any, any subject related to the Somali community then I really encourage you to visit our website www.theatm.org this is your debate, you decide what the topic is and we're here to make it happen